Okay, uh, take two on the Mega Squirt coil and plug continuation of the testing I did before using the uh, EDS trigger wheel. Uh, again, it's the 51 GMC with a Vortec 4200 in it. Now running coil and plug ignition uh, from the Mega Squirt here. Um, this extra cable on the end here is the extra three ignition outputs that we are driving the coil with. Uh, the we're now running off the GM crank sensor, uh, which eliminates the need to put an additional crank trigger wheel on the front of the mortar. So over here we have Mega Tune ready to go in case we have to make any adjustments. Uh, the Mega Squirt again, and up on the fender and my lab scope, uh, we need to do some testing before in order to sort out what's going on with the software. So I still have it connected. Um, for normal installations after the uh, development's been done, uh, this won't be needed. Uh, and actually when I'm done the video here, I'm going to take it inside. Uh, not required anymore. So again, uh, um, we have temporary wiring hooked up to run the coils. Um, this pair of wires here is coming from the GM crank sensor, which is uh, down on the other side of the block. Okay, uh, you can see the uh, yellow and purple wire running over the top of the water, and then it dives down on the other side over here to the uh, GM crank sensor. Which is down there. And you can see the kind of see the wires going down to the crank sensor. Okay, uh, actually, that's it right there, and the wires just tucked behind the steering column. So they run up across the mortar and they're tied back into or the 36 minus 1 coil wires, uh, pickup wires tied in from the previous test. Okay, uh, so we're gonna start the mortar up here. In a few seconds, and again, uh, we have the coils on coil and plugs installed. So, one, two, three, four, and the other ones are in the back there, so it's dark. Um, we have the feed wires coming in, the pink wires are the plus 12 volts, the black ones are ground, and then the individual color ones are the trigger wires. Okay, go ahead. Well, um, you see the other coils in the back there now, still over the light. And up on the lap scope, you can see the various trigger trigger pulses. The bottom one or the bottom one from the uh, GM crank crank trigger sensor. This is the coil input for number one. This is the EDIS output. Okay, shut it off.